Well, GW just showed all the um, far the alt writers and um, racists and bigots in the hobby the door. <laughs> That's damn time. So, for anyone who hasn't noticed it, over the past few years, especially within a lot of nerd groups, particularly um, strangely enough, Star Wars and Marvel, but also within Warhammer Forty K. The um, old rights presence has kind of grown, and it's grown like a cancer. And like all tumours, it should be removed, either with a scalpel or copious doses of radiation. Um, I'm preferably without actually killing the people in question. I'd much rather that come to realise that they've been brainwashed. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, enough attacking people. <laughs> um, now to talk about people reacting to it. But yes, um, the reaction to this has been a bit hilarious from um, people going, but Games Workshop shouldn't be political. They're a company. Their only job is making money. Or those same people going, but if Warhammer is for everyone, how is that the case when they charge so much? And honestly, that part I kind of agree with. They, they're saying it's a bit hollow on that front, but at the same time, that's not what this is about. This is about them saying, we've had enough of the hobby being filled with racists and uh, with vocal racists and other hate preachers that are not representative of the actual hobby. I go to most wargaming clubs, and what do you have? You generally have pretty nice people. And if you're dealing with people that are like this, that are the very kind of people that feel called out by this statement, you tend to find those people don't get games. They tend to leave the club because the because people don't want to be around them. If you're offended by this statement, I'm sorry, it's not Games Workshop that's the problem. It's you. You are the problem. And you need to go and reassess your views. Because people shouldn't have to put up with racism in hobby spaces. They shouldn't have to be put up, shouldn't have to put up with being racially vilified or with people constantly harassing them about their gender identity. Like, generally, that being said, someone's gender identity doesn't come up. But people have also misassumed that 40k is actually a setting that Games Workshop intend for people to um, want to live in. And I say misassumed for a very good reason. They've, they've frequently stated, no, 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 you don't want to live in this universe. It's a horrible place to live. Everything from bloody inquisitions to um, mass murdering Xenos races and the Terranids. Also, Chaos Demons and Dark Eldar. <laughs> Dark Eldar. <laughs> yeah, don't let yourself get taken alive by Dark Eldar. Just don't. It's never going to be fun. Especially if you're female. Um, but yeah. And, um, yeah. Like one of the great um, replies to people being um, an arsehole about this statement is the clown meme with people going, um, putting makeup on the face and going, GW's statement was unnecessary, starting the makeup. I've never experienced any prejudice in the hobby, so it clearly doesn't exist. Puts on wig. SJWs are ruining the hobby by pointing out bigotry. Full clown. This discussion is preventing me from enjoying the game. <laughs> yeah, no it isn't. If you're afraid to enjoy the game, that's not what we have a problem with. It's not what GW has a problem with. It's you being a dick that they have a problem with. And then there's the um, thing from Twitter where um, someone was like, so you realise your lefty Twitter fans are going to use this last line as a hammer to try and drive people out that they don't like politically. And it's like, and GW's response is, we hope all, our, we hope all people of good nature will work to protect our hobby. <laughs> Burned! <laughs> uh, thing is, my experience of the left wing is of the left has generally been that they don't try to push people out. The only people they tend to um, be calling out are the very same people that are trying. That ideology tends to be: we want everyone who isn't like us to be killed. I'm not going to pussyfoot around about Nazis. The ideology of them is, 
We want everyone who isn't like us dead. I'm saying that as someone who is part of a group that was persecuted by the Nazis in World War prior to work, prior to enduring World War Two. What do you think those books that were pulled out and were burned? There was a gender clinic in Germany that the Nazis burned. The common images that we see of Nazis burning books was books from that clinic. Yeah, I'm not devaluing um, the others who suffered in that. The Romani suffered ex excruciating, as did the Jewish and disabled. But too often the LGBT community are forgotten in discussions about that. For far too long, my people have felt the oppressive yoke shoved upon us and then are beaten to death. And it's unfair and it's time it ended. And it's why I'm fully for Games Workshop's statement here. That being said, this statement doesn't really have any great power to it. Um, it's There's no ban hammer going on, there's no blacklisting. It's nothing like that. It's just Games Workshop saying we, no long, we do not support people being hateful pricks within our hobby anymore. And that's a good thing. Now it'd be nice if they lowered their prices so as to make sure more people can afford the hobby so Warhammer can actually be for everyone. But yes, I've said all I need to for now, and um, yeah, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoy, well this isn't a video you can kind of really enjoy or not enjoy, although there will be people who will definitely not enjoy it because they're called out. Um, but yes, for those who are wondering, um, I'd mentioned a little while back that I was working on doing Adeptus Mechanicus Cavalry. I'm part way through working on the models, and... I've kind of had to stop on them at the moment because I've kind of injured my fingers and I don't want to work on gr with green stuff while I have cuts in my fingers. Um, the joy of being a fool with a knife. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I have a whole lot more cool stuff in the works and you guys will get to see it soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.